Uh, hi, hello, this is Dr. Prasad Patilam uh, with a new topic of uh, eyes as a camera or camera as an eye. This is for the electronics, uh, mechanical, uh, civil engineering stream students. Uh, for them, the biology for engineers, DP of K. Okay, so, so it's a very interesting topic. Uh, that's why I took a lot of time to prepare it uh, to make it uh, connecting uh, to the uh, students of uh, bachelor degree students uh, who have no uh, background of uh, biology as such or uh, even if they have background how it has connected to the uh, biology stream okay so this is uh, module 3 part 2 of bbok biology for engineers please do uh, uh, listen that we are in a module 3 that is human organ system and bio designs and uh, this is the syllabus which is given in which IAS camera system which architecture of road and ponds optical corrections contract uh, lens material bionic material these are the topics uh, which comes under this so i made a question uh, uh, with that uh, i just uh, interested in uh, more on bionic eye the optical corrections uh, remaining things uh, i will take one more uh, small class video to make it uh, understandable or it is available in my youtube channel also okay now these are the uh, course outcomes i mentioned uh, in that uh, so please do subscribe to my youtube channel uh, for the effort that i am taking to prepare this uh, materials as well as uh, giving this this uh, explanation for uh, you people my youtube channel is my intuition 4865 okay so question is uh, analyze the design principle behind bionic eye and how they mimic the architecture and function of road and consoles okay so it is a uh, connected to course outcome 3 uh, revised the Bloom's taxonomy level is 3, it carries 10 marks. Answer scheme is mentioned here, road cone and uh, cell function, you need to mention bionic eye. The design principle uh, can be explained and um, the how it mimics the biological function uh, that also carries marks. Okay, so uh, move on to the description. Before that, uh, some how we should know how, what is the uh, camera as well as eye, what is the connection between. So, this image. Uh, so it represents, so it uh, shows the comparison between the, uh, the components of uh, the camera uh, and the anatomy of a human eye, uh, highlighting the similarities in how both systems, the biological system as well as the camera, the material system functions to capture and process images. So the camera components, you know that it has got a card, uh, it has got a diaphragm, aperture is there. Uh, uh, lens is there uh, and even a black point is also there okay so the card it is refers to the memory card where the captured images are stored and uh, the diaphragm which controls the aperture uh, which regulates the amount of light entering the camera and the aperture that is the opening through which the light enters the camera it is adjustable to control the exposure the lens focuses the light onto camera sensor and creating the images the black point it refers to the part um, uh, of the camera that prevents light leakage ensuring the image quality now the eye eye side up uh, not eye side but if you explain about eyes uh, the, it consists of retina iris pupil lens and uh, uh, choroid okay so the retina the it is the light sensitive layer at uh, the back of the eye where the images are formed and then transmitted to the brain via the optical nerve uh, iris it is, it is the colored part of eye uh, which controls the size of the, uh, the pupil and um, thus the amount of uh, light entering the eye. So the pupil it is the opening in the center of the iris which allows light to enter the eye and lens it focuses the light into retina much like the lens of a camera. And the uh, choroid it is a vascular layer of the eye which supplies the nutrients and oxygen to the retina not like the black point in the camera okay if i take the com uh, the functional comparison of these two uh, the aperture as well as the uh, people uh, both controls the amount of light entering their respective system the camera aperture and the uh, eye people they adjust in size to regulate the uh, light exposure uh, lens in both uh, the camera and the eye the the lens focuses light to form the clear image uh, the camera lens uh, it can be adjusted for focus while the eye can uh, the eye lens changes shape to focus on 
objects at different distances means it, it does required accommodation the image capture if you compare camera it sensors it captures uh, the uh, camera sensors it captures the images which are formed by the lens while in the eye the retina captures the image and it converts it into uh, neural signals for the brain to interpret it further the control mechanism the diaphragm in camera and the iris in the eye both controls the size of the aperture or the pupil to adjust the light intake ensuring that optimal exposure for a for for getting a clear image that can be a comparison with uh, this uh, the previous image this image it simply represents the different parts of uh, the uh, eye the same image continues the muscle is the conjunctiva cornea lens uh, so, so all those terms uh, we not need to by heart it as such only to make you understand the different parts so this is the retina part uh, in which uh, the cone cells and rod cells are are arranged in a well organized way okay so this is the they are called as photoreceptor cells okay so the cone cell uh, the rod cell and cone cell are the, how they are, uh, look like uh, that is represented with this image again no, no, there is no need to by heart they were to draw this images and uh, only to make you understand these are the shapes uh, or the natural shape which is given then having uh, their own uh, the shape has got its own uh, function to do uh, in the eye okay so this particular image represents um, the uh, cross sectional diagram of the retina which illustrate the the path of uh, light and the various types of cells which are involved in the process of visual perception so this is little bit i think explanation i can give which is useful for the uh, students of uh, this these streams who are working on uh, uh, different electronic components uh, even the mechanical students or even little bit for the civil engineering students uh, the layers of retina it, it has got a pigment la layer uh, which which is the outermost layer of the retina which contains pigment cells and these cells it absorbs the excess light to prevent it from uh, scattering uh, within the eye so th that helps in enhancing the clarity of the visual or the image the photoreceptor cells are the rod cells and uh, cone cells that are in detail uh, what the role as well as function i will be explaining the the, the bipolar cells they are the intermediate neurons uh, which act as uh, the intermediate between the photoreceptor the rod cell as well as the cone cell as well as the uh, ganglion cells uh, the out uh, ganglion cells are the output neurons the um, uh, bipolar cells are intermediate neurons or as the ganglion cells are the output neurons uh, which are the uh, which uh, the final output neurons in the retina they receive the signals from the bipolar cells uh, the axons of uh, gang, uh, ganglion cells con converge to form the optic nerve which transmits visual information to the brain the pathway of light uh, which enters it has got several layers of uh, retina to reach the photoreceptor cell once the light hits the photoreceptor it is converted into electrical signal that are uh, processed through the retinal layers the light passes through the ganglion cell and bipolar cell before reaching the photoreceptor layer the rods and cones they convert light into electrical impulses bipolar cells they transmit these impulses from the from the uh, the, the photoreceptor to the ganglion cells then the ganglion cells uh, they send the processed uh, uh, visual information to the brain uh, via via the optical nerve okay now uh, uh, the uh, rod and cone cell function uh, from here onwards the mass actual the mark distribution starts uh, till now whatever explained that is based on the image i just given the introduction to that okay uh, the, these are the two cells fun which are functioning cone cells they are responsible for the color vision uh, they uh, function best in uh, bright light uh, okay i was reading concepts okay uh, responsible for color vision they function best in uh, bright light uh, there are three types uh, red the green and uh, blue sensitivity they concentrated in uh, the for we are the center part of retina which uh, enable uh, sharp and detailed vision and rod cells they are responsible for the low light or the night vision they are highly sensitive to light it provides black and white uh, vision so more numerous than the cone cells as you will see in the images uh, located uh, mainly around the periphery of the uh, retina
okay so we'll go back once again and see the okay where it is okay so see the uh, road cell and the consoles uh, how they are arranged so based on that uh, these uh, statements are sufficient uh, for to get to mars moving to the uh, bionic eye so 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 what a good picture to represent so this is a eye uh, shape of eye only it's a camera system uh, electronic uh, system made in the shape of an eye so that it can be used as a replacement okay so the replacement uh, image uh, i think i can give a little explanation for that even this image is not a no need to draw but you can uh, you should be able to understand what it is so this it illustrate so this illustrate the components and the functions of of a, of a bionic eye system uh, which is uh, designed to restore uh, the vision by copying or uh, mimicking the natural process of the human eye the system starts with an external camera which has which, which is mounted on a pair of glasses so this camera it captures the visual information from the environment similar to how the human eye captures the images so the captured image is then sent to the microprocessor for further processing so the microprocessor often uh, it is one on any body part uh, it, it processes the visual uh, information which are received from the camera it then converts um, the image data into uh, into electronic signals so these signals it represent the visual information in the form which can be understood by the implanted components of the bionic eye okay this is a bionic eye system actually so the processed electronic signals are then transmitted to an electronic receiver which are uh, uh, implanted located near the eye the receiver implant it is positioned on uh, near to the eye it receives the, the the electronic signal from the microprocessors then sent to signal to through through the tiny cables to an electrode panel uh, which is surgically implanted on the retina and this this electrode panel acts as the artificial retina okay so the retinal implant uh, uh, now receives the electronic signal converts them into electrical impulses and these impulses stimulate uh, the remaining functional uh, retinal cells or it directly stimulate the optic nerve fiber the optic nerve then carries these impulses to the brain the brain interprets the electrical impulses received via the optic nerve cells as, as as the visual information uh, then it uh, perceives the pattern of light the dark light and dark patterns corresponding to the electrodes uh, which allows the uh, brain to analyze it uh, and give a uh, visual, visualization of that okay i think that is more than enough for about uh, this uh, particular picture we move on to the point where we have to score marks bionic eyes that is that is the the design principle of a bionic eye the components of a bionic eye are uh, represented here the bionic eye is also known as the retinal prosthesis which is aimed to restore the vision of an of a person or an individual Uh, with a uh, severe vision loss and uh, this is achieved through a, a combination of uh, the sophisticated technology as well as the bioengineering the, the term comes bioengineering and how it is connected to the technology okay so uh, the design of bionic eye is based on uh, on just replicating the natural uh, visual processes on it involves uh, capturing light from the environment converting it to electrical signal uh, transmitting the signal to the brain uh, for for the required interpretation the components are camera processor uh, retinal implants are the main uh, components of uh, uh, of this system uh, we need to have miniature cameras not a bigger camera very small cameras which are used to capture visual information from the environment which has the same similar role of the human eye the, the lens as well as the cornea then the uh, camera has to convert the captured images into digital signals the a, a powerful uh, microprocessor it processes the digital signal from the camera and converts them into a pattern of electrical impulses which can be understood by the optical nerve and uh, the retinal implants uh, which are placed on the retina 
near the optical uh, optic nerve they receive the electric impulses from the process and stimulate the optic nerve sending a visual information to the brain now the uh, conversion of uh, visual information conversion of visual information uh, the bionic eye it operates on, the, on on the principle of converting visual information into electrical signal microprocessing the natural process of uh, oh, sorry um, uh, it converts the uh, visual information to electrical signals uh, just like the photoreceptor cell in the uh, retina okay so the camera it captures images and convert them to digital signal representing the intensity and the color of light the processor and it analyzes the digital signal and generate a series of electrical impulses uh, which corresponds to the captured image the retinal implants uh, they transmit these electrical impulses to the optical nerve uh, by mimicking or by copying the natural uh, uh, stimulation processes and conveying a visual information to the brain okay so move on to the next uh, topic uh, replicating rod and con uh, functions uh, the rod uh, rod and con func uh, functions low light vision color vision low light vision uh, that is done by the rod cells uh, the adva uh, advanced uh, bionic eye uh, system or uh, the bionic eye it utilizes very high sensitive cameras and uh, the sophisticated uh, uh, algorithms the processing algorithms to 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 simulate the functions of the rod cells so you have already seen how the rod cell is the and uh, the bionic eye you should have such a camera and uh, processing algorithm to do the same function so these components enable the devices to capture and uh, interpret the light even in very low conditions uh, that that's by mimicking uh, the uh, human eye ability to see the very dim environment the con cells uh, the color vision uh, bionic eye technology should incorporate uh, specialized uh, components and uh, the processing techniques uh, to differentiate uh, the colors uh, just like the uh, role of the con cells which allows the users to distinguish uh, the, the 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 hues and experience the world in more vibrant and uh, non stu way now some of the uh, practical applications uh, uh, that is vision restoration uh, bionic eye provides us the vital source of uh, uh, visual input for individuals with retinal uh, diseases or damages which offers a lifetime uh, to those who have uh, lost their uh, sight okay one can imagine uh, people who, who are not able to see things so we we should do something to uh, give them uh, this chance to see the world uh, it, it enhances the quality of life by restoring the partial uh, vision bionic eyes significantly enhances the uh, quality of life for individual with uh, vision loss enabling them to engage more fully in their uh, surroundings now benefits of uh, vision restoration uh, it is improved mobility increased independence uh, neuroplasticity engaging remaining neural pathway to adapt to the new uh, visual inputs uh, technological advances so i need, no need to explain more benefits of visual restoration that everyone individual knows what is the benefits uh, then moving on to uh, the current uh, examples uh, what the research where we are at present uh, so this this is a reference that i took from the uh, google search uh, from uh, elsevier's journal ophthalmology for the 5 year safety and performance result from the argus 2 retinal prosthesis system clinical trial that is example current example argus 2 it's an example of retinal prosthesis system which provides partial vision for a individual with uh, retinitis uh, pigmentosa so there is a disease called okay so this is how they um, try to make it uh, uh, the photograph of uh, uh, the uh, argus 2 retinal process system the second uh, site me, uh, medical uh, product uh, of this means this is the i have to give the credit to these people you know, who have worked, worked on this so the first part that is the implanted component of the system and uh, the second part the external uh, body the how to wear it component of the system so these are not for example purpose only to for reference to make us 
see that where the technology and where we stand okay so another example is alpha ems they it is a sub retinal implant that directly stimulates the retinal cells okay so again the reference i mentioned here this is the reference that from which i took this image so it is a retinal implant constructed vision chip uh, which is a uh, multi photodiode array a 4 pixel uh, magnified in the center and uh, on a poly uh, imide foil uh, both placed uh, sub retinal and uh, power supply cable connecting the microchip with the retinal coil in a ceramic housing and a reference electrode placed uh, subdermally at the uh, temple and uh, retroretinal regions okay so better you refer this for uh, it means only to make us uh, feel that uh, where we stand our uh, research team uh, the research and uh, what kind of it is going uh, well beyond that uh, and our new comers new engineering uh, uh, aspirants uh, they should be able to know where we are standing now and uh, what the, what is the current requirement not just completing a, a theory part of studying a theory and uh, just uh, getting a degree then uh, you will be getting on a degree only you will not be you uh, will not be a useful product engineering product for the future so you need to work hard you need to understand different uh, concepts one of the important concept which is very much needed for the future is the biological concepts because we need to mimic now we are almost reached a saturation where we need to replicate ourselves all of the body parts everything we have to replicate uh, and we are reaching to the era of, era of robotics artificial intelligence and robotics therefore these topics are very important so many have asked me as if i have framed the I have forced the university to set the syllabus, but anyhow, I am thankful to the university, the central government, or whatever the Indian government who have introduced at least introduced uh, the biology uh, connecting to the electronic, I mean, the engineering stream, not pure biology as such, connecting the biology and engineering stream so that uh, the engineering aspirants uh, should get inspired from uh, this uh, work from the experts and. Uh, they will try to gain more knowledge than the theoretical knowledge just by by hearting the theory and all uh, is not at all sufficient nowadays so uh, once again i thank you one and all for uh, watching my uh, videos thank you one and all for subscribing my videos that is the support i am getting i am always behind uh, innovation and uh, uh, the work uh, below uh, beyond that uh, my main work is to uh, mentor the students as a innovation ambassador to do some innovation and this is one of the part which i observed that i am a material science uh, uh, expert so i am able to understand the biology term i am able to understand the physics so uh, electronics uh, as well as the other even little bit coding uh, i can understand so i i thought that i am i am able to explain this and uh, you are giving the possible support whenever a free time i will be uploading my video classes i hope that before the end of a semester i'll complete that one or anyhow uh, my video classes on a previous scheme it is available there you can refer that one also anyhow i will try to complete bbok407 is this present video bbok bboc407 that is for computer science stream so once again thank you very much